Item number SCP-3620, Object Class Safe, Special Containment Procedures. SCP-3620 is to be contained in a medium-sized animal containment cage of internal volume no less than one cubic meter. The cage must be airtight to allow for monitoring of CO2 output. The cage is to be cleaned daily before feeding, with the mass of any droppings or eggs produced measured. The daily amount of food and water provided must equal the mass output within an allowed variance of 1.5 gram a day. Description SCP-3620 is a living entity confirmed by genetic testing more than 99.9% .9 certainty to be an approximately 5-year-old female domestic chicken. Behavior and vocalizations are consistent with those of a chicken, as are the appearance of all tissue samples taken. SCP-3620 presents visually as a two-dimensional white plane featuring a pictograph and a series of curved lines hypothesized to be language, although they match no previously encountered alphabet. Besides, the plane appears the same relative to the observer's field of view, regardless of distance and the plane appears parallel to the observer's field of view, regardless of viewing angle. Roughly 1 in 5 observers report mild to moderate headaches after viewing SCP-3620. Testing indicates that SCP-3620 is physically invariant. It weighs 724.33 grams, regardless of factors that would normally affect mass. Any tissue samples removed from the specimen, such as drawn blood, plucked feathers, and even entire removed body parts, are instantly replaced. Separated mass appears non-anomalous and degrades at a normal rate. Factors indicating age have consistently pointed to SCP-3620 being approximately 5 years old, despite having been in Foundation custody since 1983, July 5th. As the amount of material produced and consumed by SCP-3620 do not appear to adhere to the standard laws of conversation of mass, any mass shed naturally or removed during the course of testing must be replaced by an equal mass of food to prevent long-term planetary mass discrepancy. Document 3621 Post-Recovery Interview Interviewed Beep Interviewer Agent Beep. Forward. Interview conducted on 1983, July 5th, following recovery of SCP-3620 under protocol or not. Agent Beep posing as an agent of the Ripley Entertainment Incorporated. Begin log. So, tell us how you came to acquire this animal. I mean, I'm pretty sure she was a normal chicken. I counted them after, and with this weird one, there weren't none missing. So I guess I acquired her on a normal way chickens get made, if you understand my meaning. Uh, then something got her all weird like this. Can you describe what happened exactly? Well, I didn't see it happen or nothing. A loud noise woke me up, like, like a thunderclap mixed with an orchestra going through a wheat thresher. I thought I jumped it at first. You know how it is when you just woke up. But when I went outside, I figured it was connected with this thing. Look enormous when I saw it at first. But it shrank when I walked closer or something. Like, not exactly that, but like, it always looks the same size no matter how far away from it you are. But when I got close, it was just down there, walking around and clucking like nothing was out of the ordinary. Other birds seem a bit wary of it, though. Have you told anyone else about this? Nah, pretty much called you believe it or not guys first thing. I expect you pay well for weird crap like this, so I didn't want anyone else taking pictures or whatever. Well, this is certainly an exciting item. Come along with me and I'll take you over to our purchasing department and we'll work out a good price for this girl. Sounds good. End log. Closing statement. Mr. Beep was administered Class C amnestics and paid $10 for the loss of one chicken and returned to his farm. Document 3622. 
suicide note of Dr. Beep. None of it matters. You understand what 3620 is, right? It's not a chicken. It's a freaking bug. It's a glitch. An error message. She's a fool for not found a crop out eggs. So, what does that make the rest of us? Software running on some higher order computer software? We're just a simulation. None of it freaking matters. Control Alt Delete. Dan. Document. 3623. Interview with Dr. Charlene Beep following death of Dr. Daniel Beep. Interviewed Dr. Charlene Beep, lead researcher, SCP 3620. Interviewer Agent Beep, internal review committee. On Tony Beep, April 12th, junior researcher Daniel Beep was found dead in his office of apparent suicide. Autopsy revealed a massive overdose of injected paralytics. A classification review investigation was largely to determine whether or not the suicide would indicate a cause to change the safe classification of SCP-3620. Begin log. Can you tell us about Mr. Beep? Well, I can tell you he'd get pissed off at you calling him Mr. instead of Doctor. My apologies, Dr. Beep. No problem. He was pretty new to the team, pretty fresh out of grad schools, in fact. And this was his first assignment here. We were working on seeing if Spongy could... I'm sorry, Spongy? Oh, yeah, it's kind of a nickname we gave SCP-3620, Spongy, short for Data Expunge. I know we're supposed to stay detached, but it's hard when you work with one the animate ones for years, and frankly, SCP-3620 is a bit of a mouthful. I see. Please continue. We were working on seeing if SCP-3620 could be used as a food source. She's basically a chicken, so when you pull off a wing or a leg or cut off a chunk of breast or whatever, it's made of regular old chicken meat, and a new part pops right back no matter how much we chop off. But we have to keep things balanced. Wanted chicken wings so much the extra mass through off Earth's orbit would be one of the more embarrassing XKs to cause, you know. Right. So Dan was helping me out with making a denser feed and measuring how much we could get her to eat in a day. And I saw him just stop and get this far away look in his eyes. Then he said he had to go to his office. That was the last I saw of him. The last anyone saw of him, I guess. Could the feeding protocol have triggered an effect? Unlikely. After it happened, we brought in a few D-class to try and recreate it. And none of them had a problem. So, in your professional opinion, do you believe that Dr. Beep's suicide was due to an enormous effect created by SCP-3620? I do not. At least not like a mimetic or telepathic effect. I've personally been studying this for three years now. It's been in custody since the 80s, and this is the first time anything like this has happened. You tend to become a bit numb to awareness around here, but someone as new as Dan? We think of the Euclids and the Kettles as the scary ones, so we forget that even quote-unquote safe skips can destroy someone's whole worldview, you know? And no. Note. The Classification Committee voted to retain current safe classification of SCP-3620.